In a previous video, I discussed how turning on DSCP tagging within your Xbox settings can improve your online gaming performance. Today, we're going to take a look at buffer bloat on the Xbox itself to see whether or not using DSCP is worth it. If you're unfamiliar with how to get there, we just go to a network, advanced settings, all the way down to quality of service tagging settings, and there is our DSCP and WMM tagging. As you can see, they're both currently off. If we back out of here and we head on over to the Microsoft Edge app on Xbox, we can go to waveform.com and do a buffer bloat test. For those unfamiliar with what buffer bloat is, it's undesired latency that can happen when you're downloading or uploading. Essentially, let's say you're playing a game, somebody hops on Netflix. Well, that's gonna take a bit of bandwidth. And when that happens, even if you have a really big package, gig up, gig down, that can cause a spike within your network. When that happens, your game can react to that spike and it'll make for a bad time. We've all been there, you're playing, everything's smooth, people come home, you're like, why am I lagging? It's because of buffer bloat. So here, looking at my initial tests, some things I wanna point out. My ISP package currently is 660 down and 23 up. As you can see, I'm not getting those speeds right now. And that is because I have capped my download and upload by a certain percent. This can be adjusted on my router. This happens when I'm gaming. So I start gaming and the system automatically caps my download and upload speed so that I don't have buffer bloat, which makes for a smooth gaming experience. Now, if I decide that I'm downloading a game or everybody's home watching Netflix, nobody's gaming, the system is off automatically and lets my full bandwidth come in so I can download games, do everything else. But the moment I start gaming, the system automatically turns down on and makes sure I don't have buffer bloat. Things we're looking at here is our max spikes. We do not want those to be high. And while we're running the test, we don't want our download active or upload active to be too high. So with DSCP tagging off, the system is doing what it should do. However, when we've taken a look at those max spikes, you'll notice they're actually pretty high, which is undesirable when you're playing a game. We want everything as low as possible within our own network. Now, every network is going to be a bit different and have different things connected to it, different things going on at different times of day. Keep that all in mind when you're messing with all this. What may work great on a Monday morning when nobody else is around but you're home and have a little bit of time to game and also run some tests to see what's best, may not work the best is when everybody's home on the weekend watching Netflix in the evening. So my recommendation is always do these tests twice. Once when like nobody's around, the neighborhood's kind of clear. You know nobody's like just in the neighborhood sitting around watching TV all day. And then again, when everybody should be home, like on a Sunday night, when everybody's like just chilling out. So we're gonna run through the rest of these tests. I'll let you guys just kind of look them over. And then we're gonna turn on the DSCP tagging within my Xbox. Something I wanna note right off the bat. As soon as I do that and I come back to Waveform, you'll notice it's not so good at first. It actually is uh, kind of wobbly. However, once my system figures out exactly what's going on, the max spikes calm way down, and so does my overall buffer bloat. So it takes a couple tests before I'm able to get an A+, but once I do, it's nice and low. We'll be back here in a few minutes to cap everything off. I'm just gonna let these tests run, let you guys look over all of them, scan through how you want, and we'll be back in a minute.
So here we are. Uh, you can see each test has gotten better and better. And the more tests we run, the more it's settling in and getting a better score with less max buffer bloat spikes and my jitters calming down. So don't just run one test and say, oh no, everything's messed up. Run a bunch in a row after changing these settings to really see if it's gonna work out for your network. Cause some networks, DSCP tagging doesn't run great. And you really find that out after testing a whole bunch and then also playing some games. So with all that said, I wanna say thank you all for coming back, supporting me over the last couple of videos. I wanna let you know I have activated channel memberships, which is gonna allow for you guys to get my content early. How early? Ah, that is questionable. I'm gonna be making less content than I have before, but hopefully at a bit higher quality. You know, I'm pretty relaxed. I'm not too worried about it. I just wanna help people out with their lag the best I can. So as long as I'm doing that, I'm pretty happy. But if you wanna help support me, memberships are now active and you'll get the videos days, weeks, months early depending on what content I'm working on, because there is a lot of background testing that goes on before I make a video. All right, everybody, I really, really appreciate you. If you're new around here, do all the things. And until the next time, as always, take it easy.